So you want to add some vehicles to Minecraft, and in this video, we are going to be showing you exactly how to do that. Whether it's dirt bikes or like F1 style race cars, like what you have right here, to even tractors with trailers on them, with big trucks, and all sorts of different stuff. This video is going to show you how to get all kinds, over 20 actually, different vehicles in Minecraft 1.16.4. We're going to be going over every single step of it. This is the breakdown. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. First of all, we do have some our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love and trust Apex so much. We host our own server. Play at our breakdowncraft.com on them. So to start your very own Minecraft server in the quickest and easiest way possible, check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get some vehicles. We're going to be doing this with Mr. Crayfish's vehicle mod. Obviously, Mr. Crayfish is having an awesome YouTube channel. You can actually check that out by clicking that link right there on the mod page. But nevertheless, you want to get this mod installed. It has scooters, it has, you know, all sorts of tractors, as I said. It's got, you know, the, the, the Formula One style race cars, so much cool stuff, and even dirt bikes is in this mod. So we're gonna be going over all of it. But the first step of getting this mod is obviously downloading it. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is a Mr. Crayfish Vehicle Mod main page. Come over here to the right-hand side. Scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. And then click that purple download button to the right of the 1.16 version. That will then take us off to here where after a few seconds, the download will begin right away. Wait for it. There it is. And now in the bottom left, we do have the Vehicle Mod downloading. We can go ahead and click Keep there to save the file. Now, we aren't done downloading yet. We still need the Obfuscate Mod. This is a compatibility mod that basically Mr. Crayfish uses to make these cool models and things like that and actually allows you to actually have like a real looking car in Minecraft. So to download this, you want to go to, I believe, the third link down below. That's going to take you here, right? Come over here to the right hand side again. Scroll down to see Minecraft 1.16 and again, click on that purple download button. And again, after a few seconds, it will go ahead and keep itself. Now you may need to save this file if you're on Google Chrome. Again, in the bottom left, you will need to keep it in Google Chrome on Mozilla Firefox. Excuse me, you may need to save the file in the center of your screen. Now we aren't downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Forge is obviously the mod loader that allows this whole entire you know vehicle mod to work and everything so we want to make sure we get this downloaded this is going to be the fourth link down below and when you get here you want to scroll down until you see this green download forge button now this is actually our in-depth guide to forge so if i go too fast in the tutorial or something like that you can go through the text tutorial at your own speed but nonetheless we're going to go ahead and click on that green download forge button that will then take us off to this page here where as we can see we are minecraft 1.16.3 currently that's not the correct version. We want to download it in Minecraft 1.16.4. To do that, make sure you click the plus on the left-hand side here to 1.16 if it's not already clicked. And then you want to go ahead and click on 1.16.4. Then it'll say MC 1.16.4 here. So what you want to do is come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. That'll then take us off to Add Focus, where after a few seconds, it will go ahead and allow us to start downloading. Now, do not click anything else on this page. I repeat, do not click anything on this page whatsoever except the red Skip button. If you see any other buttons on this page, they're lying to you. The only button you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that red skip button in the top right, in the bottom left, a file will start downloading on Google Chrome. As long as it has Forge in the title, which ours does, we can go ahead and click Keep there. It's safe to keep the file. Same thing on Mozilla Firefox. It'll pop up in the center of your screen, and you can save it there if you need to. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we have Obfuscate Vehicle Mod, right? So there's Obfuscate, there's the Vehicle Mod, and there is Forge. First things first, we're going to start off with Forge, but what if these aren't on your desktop? Stop at all. Well, then there was like in the downloads folder. Get to that, click on the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on the little windows icon in the top or bottom left, and then go ahead and type in downloads right like so. And then this downloads file folder in Windows, and in here you will find all the mods you just downloaded. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, again, we're going to be starting off with Forge. Now, if your files for whatever reason don't look like mine, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that later if you do want to, but you might not even have to. So let's get started by right clicking on Forge, clicking on Open With, clicking on Java, and if you can, click on OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Well, in that case, you need to go to the description down below and go to this tutorial. This is our in-depth guide for how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, the vehicle mod is a Minecraft mod, so we need to download this version of Java if you don't have it already. Go to this installation process, and then you should be able to open up Forge. However, in some cases, you may not be able to. And if that's the case, what you want to do is run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is make all the .jar files in your computer link to Java once again. It's going to make your jar files look like my jar files, basically, as well as, you know, allow you to open them and things like that. So now we can go ahead and minimize our browser again, and we can finally right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to go ahead and open up the Mod System Installer for Forge here, where we just click on Install Client and click OK. It's then going to download, do some things, set some things up, make some things work, basically get everything set up and running for Forge in Minecraft 1.16.4, and um, yeah, that's kind of that. That's what's going to happen. Then it set, comes up and says Successful Install, Client Profile Forge. Awesome. That means it's done. It was successful. It has been installed. We go ahead and click OK on that. Now it's time to go ahead and install the Obfuscate and Vehicle Mod. 
I'm going to go ahead and change our desktop background real fast. Hopefully something that is, yeah, a little more easy to see. But as you can see, we can now install these two mods. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, before you slam that play button, hold your horse's speed racer, what we want to do is go ahead and go under the latest release here on the left-hand side. Like, see this little, like, area? Click on that, and you want to select Forge. Now, in our case, we have 1.16.4-Forge under it, and we have the Forge profile, we can click play. But what if you don't have the Forge profile, or what if you do, and under it, it doesn't say 1.16.4-Forge? Well, in that case, you want to go to the Installations tab, and once you click on the Installations tab, you want to click on this plus new button here, and you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have over 200 players online every single day with grief-protected 1.16.4 native survival. We have medieval survival with 30 custom quests, a true MMO component with a player base economy and we do have aquatic survival with an amazing slash shop based economy skyblock is getting huge updates on breakdown craft very very soon absolutely incredible stuff there so come play with this play our breakdown craft.com is the ip now let's go ahead and click on our versions drop down box here and then you're going to see all of these different versions what we want is release 1.16.4 forge so here it is up at the top for us you may have to scroll down a ways to find it i've even seen it be at the bottom of the versions list there but ours is right up here at the top so let's go ahead and click on that i'm then going to change the resolution you don't need to do that but i'm doing it just so you all can see once we get in game and then you want to click the green create button in the bottom right. Then we have this new profile we created, play.breakdowncraft.com. It does 1.16.4 forge under it, so we can hover over it and click that green play button. Now we can finally get the vehicle mod installed. The hard part's over. Really, the hardest part of getting a mod added is the uh, setting up forge part. Once you've got forge, it's kind of easy to go from that point. So anyway, we are loading up Minecraft with forge. As you can see, we've got the FML, which is forge mod loader, early loading process there. And then once that's opened, it will open up Minecraft kind of in a normal looking manner. There we go. There's Minecraft. And now we just kind of have to sit and wait until the Minecraft main menu appears. So I'll see you once we get to the Minecraft main menu. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. From here, what we want to do is click on this mods tab here. And then when you click on that, you want to click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was just from the main menu. Click on the mods tab and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. That then opens your mods folder here where you want to take obfuscate and vehicle mod from your desktop and drag and drop them into the mods folder. That simple. Take them from your desktop, drag them into this mod folder you opened in Minecraft. Now, if you come back to Minecraft, they're not going to be here. And your mods are never going to appear here. So you click done and then click quick game. Then you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time, you don't have to worry about creating a profile or anything. You just want to click the little arrow to the left of the play button and make sure you select your Forge profile, whether it's the one you created or the one that says Forge. And then it should say 1.16.4-Forge under it. And if it does, click the green play button. If it doesn't, select the profile that does and click the green play button. Now, when we open this up, you'll be able to see there is Obfuscate and there is a vehicle mod loaded on up. And basically meaning they've recognized them or just recognized those as mods. And then it's going to try to load them on up. So here we go. We've got Minecraft opening in its normal screen. And again, we're just kind of waiting for everything to load up. So I will meet you once we're on the Minecraft main menu to confirm everything's there. Jump in game and check these out. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we click on the mods tab, we do have the Mr. Crayfish vehicle mod and Obfuscate mod. And that means they've installed. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to work in-game per se. We know they're going to work in-game because, well, we've tested them. But let's go ahead and test them in-game real quick. We're going to do a vehicle mod and we'll go ahead and go into creative just because it's easier to get the uh get the stuff when you're in creative and then we can create a new world again one last final jump cut to see you in game and check this mod out in game so here we are in game so we can go ahead and hit e here go on over and here is the vehicle mod now as you can see there are all these different kinds of you know parts and everything and normally in vanilla minecraft you would craft these however we do have these uh, vehicle crates that we can actually check out and get this different stuff for example we've got the boats we've got the off-roader Let's go ahead and get the tractor, and that's a safe one, and I believe there is some sort of a truck or something like that. Ooh, the, the speed car, I believe, is going to be the, uh, let's see, where was it at? I missed it. Ooh, minibus. We'll just open up all these real fast, check them out really, really quick. But, uh, yeah, cool stuff. I really do think this is an awesome mod, and I'm glad that uh, Mr. Crayfish was able to put it in game, because, I don't know, I feel like there's a room for more, um, for more stuff in game when it comes to vehicles. I would love to see vehicles come to Vanilla Minecraft, be it it would completely break it. So this is like the next best thing. So we do have the boat there. I think, uh, can, can we, can we like push, let's, let's go put that in the water. I feel like this would be uh, a little better, a little better in the water, the boat. Can we place it underwater? No. I'm sure there's a way to like move it into the water. So we'll try that here in a second. However, let's go ahead and get kind of everything placed. So we've got that. We can place that down. We can place that down. Just kind of get all of these spawning in right like so. And then once we've got them spawned in, we will be able to, and by the way, you do need a decent amount of room to spawn a lot of these in, so that's why it's taking a while. So as you can see, we've got all these cool stuff. For example, the boat here. We can get in the boat, and uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to move the boat. Maybe you could probably move it with another vehicle or something like that. We do have the dirt bike. Now the cool thing about this is, 
whenever you do get on the dirt bike, you can actually see the leaning. You see that? That's a really, really cool kind of concept to me. Now, these can go up blocks and things like that, which is cool as well. But um, that leaning mechanic, I just think is absolutely awesome. So cool stuff there. Then we do also have the truck over here. And, you know, you can kind of see the different driving mechanics. This is no leaning, a little bigger, all that stuff. And this can also go up blocks without just any problem. Which makes sense. It's a truck. However, I believe if we get like the uh, golf cart here, so we go ahead and, or not golf cart, the go-kart here, we can get in this, and this isn't going to necessarily be able to go up blocks. Yeah, like as you can see, it's not going to be able to go up blocks. It's just way too small to do that. Wouldn't make any sense whatsoever if that could go up blocks. And then we do have the, like, bus over here, which I didn't even know this was in-game. This is like a Volkswagen bus. Oh, you can actually sit in the back as well. So if you had this on a server and your friends were playing with it, they could, like, ride with you, which is really cool. But yeah, we got the Volkswagen bus here. And as you can see, this is a, this is a little harder to control. Right, it's got a much wider turning circle than let's say the go-kart did, but it can also climb blocks. So every vehicle really does have its own different and unique mechanic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I've not tried the plane in this yet, so we're gonna go ahead and try that. Luckily, yeah, I was able to glitch through that there. But as we take off, we can oh, uh, pull up, 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 pull up. Water logged it. I water. Okay, it's gonna let me fly out of the water. Okay, good. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we've got the plane here. Really, really cool concept. I love planes in Minecraft. I don't fully understand I crashed I don't fully understand the controls of that plane but that's just me nothing to do with the mod um as, as I flowed or flew around I would be able to have figured those out more but I kind of crashed it so there you have it this is a really really cool mod so many different vehicles added to a uh, Minecraft that um Truthfully, it's a bit overwhelming. Also, if you create them yourself, I think we're a little glitch there on that. But uh, if you create them yourself in game, for example, you'll actually be able to um, change the colors of these vehicles as well. So you can do that in uh, also. But there you have it. That's how you can get tons and tons and tons of awesome vehicles in Minecraft 1.16.4. If you do have any questions about any of these or about this mod, let us know in the comment section down below. Shout out to Mr. Crayfish for creating this awesome mod. But thank you so, so much for watching. Again, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.